Hello everyone, welcome to another video and in this video I will explain you how can you extract an image data in the form of a JSON. So let's say you have some data or you have some files which you have just scanned it from somewhere or you have an image which is holding some data and now you want to extract that data from the image and display it as a JSON. So this is the overall agenda of today's video and here we will be using Azure OpenAI. So make sure that you have an instance ready of GPT-4 with the Vision API because here we will be utilizing Vision API to extract the details from the image. So once you have that thing ready, we are good to go and write few lines of code. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm reading the configuration. So when I'm saying configuration, it means my endpoint well, um, endpoint the api version and all those things so i have pushed in this particular file and just reading it from there so it is right now sitting in my local directory so that's the reason i'm not i'm not providing any path here the second thing is this is my sample image so i can quickly show you so this is the image which is having some text some icons here and there and we just want to extract this data and show it as a json so this is the name of my image file and I'm just generating the base64 encoding for that particular image in this particular cell. So once that is done, next thing is we need to construct the payload. And this thing we are doing using REST API call. So definitely we need to construct the header, payload and everything. So let's see how we can do that. So for payload, what I'm doing is first of all, I'm enabling the grounding as well as the OCR. And then I'm constructing the messages. So like we have seen before, whenever we are constructing the messages, we need to define the role in it. So the first role I'm saying is the system, which is having content of type text. And this is my particular uh, text, which I am setting as a system prompt. So you, of course you can change it. You can add more to it and just see how it works for you. So I am saying you are an AI assistant that extract data from documents and returns uh, return as a, uh, let me rectify it. Okay, return as a structured JSON objects. So this is what we are doing. And next thing is the user. So what user is going to supply is user will provide the uh, U, uh, URL for that image. And it has to provide that encoded image, which we have just generated above. And along with this thing, he also needs to provide the text. So now the text will tell the ex what actually needs to be then so extract data from uh, from the given image so this is my prompt as a user and these are the temperature settings so definitely you can tweak these parameters but the overall idea of showing this payload is to make sure that your OCR grounding is enabled and you're defining your messages along with the rules properly here so let's execute this one Okay, and next thing is we need to define the header. So header will take just the key. And the final thing is this one. So this thing uh, is my base or you can say the endpoint, which is supposed to be in the configuration. But in order to show you, I just pasted it over, over here. So what I'm doing here is endpoint. And these are the few things I have appended. Then I'm having the deployment name. And this is the version I'm using over here. And here you can see it is a chat completion. So once this endpoint is ready, we will just pass in our header, which we just constructed above and we'll pass the payload, which is holding all the required information and LLM related parameters. So let's make a call. And here you can see this is the output. Let me quickly show you only the relevant data. Okay, so what I can do is I can quickly show it over here okay let's okay so if you will look at this particular output you can see that uh, it is having some additional details as well so what you need to do is these three commas or apostrophe whatever you call it is saying that from here your json is starting so what you can do is you just need to do some cleanup activity here by for removing this so this is the starting and the same thing you will get as a post fix so i'm just removing these and then you are seeing lot many extra slash n or the new line characters so you can also go ahead and replace this 
So the, for this, you can simply write a small function and it, it will do that for you. So this is what I have done. Now there are no more slash n. Now if you want to see what it has generated is, so the first element it is it has generated is the title, which is the title of my image. Then I am having a mission. So these are the things which it has extracted automatically. We didn't give any information or any instruction about how to extract or what name to give. And then it just created the objectives, which is you can say here as a list. So this objective is holding few things. So the very first thing it is holding is the name and the icon. The second thing it is holding here is the name and the icon. And again, the third thing it is holding here is the name and the icon. So if you will compare our document, uh, the image here, you can easily relate to what it has generated. So here, the first thing is the title we are here for dot dot dot. Then the mission statement, our mission is to fulfill every dream and make everyone happy. And these three things, whatever you are seeing on the screen, so these are written like this. So name and the icon. So this is how you can extract JSON out of a given image. Now let's say you are not looking for this particular structure. You want something else. You don't want to show the mission statement. Rather, you want just the title and you want this these three things but again you don't want to give it the icon or objectives so how can we do that let me quickly jump onto the code again and here you need to tweak your payload with extra instructions so my new uh, payload is this payload and here you can see we are still enabling ocr and the grounding we are still having the messages we are having the same system prompt over here but the only thing which i changed this time is the user prompt now instead of just one line i'm just provide i am providing a bit more instructions over here and i am saying extract the data from this image if the value is not present provide an a and use the following structure so i am interested only in the title action item which is to do and the logo don't i we don't want the system or the llm to give its own name or the notations so we want system to generate this particular kind of json so this is what i'm going to show you now so let's execute this one let's make a call again and we should have our output ready in just few seconds Oops, this time it took so long and here is our output so let's copy this and uh, as usual I will do the same thing again I'm just removing these things the pre and the post fix then we need to so I need to just remove those additional new line characters okay so we are done now let's review this so the very first thing we got is the title then we got is the action item so which is again a list and inside action item now we have to do and logo instead of what we were getting earlier and this time you will notice that we didn't get the mission which mission statement which we saw last time so this is how we can tweak our JSON based on our requirements. So whatever fields you want, you can just define it as a skeleton over here and make sure to also specify what has to be done if the particular field is not present because not all the images will have the same kind of structure or the field. So in that case, we need some value for those, whether it is null, any or any special character if you want. So this is how we can extract the JSON. I hope you enjoyed watching this and do let me know if you are able to utilize this feature. Thanks for watching.